Selenium for Beginners with Rex Jones II. Hello and welcome to Selenium for Beginners. We are going to discuss how to use Selenium locators to find web elements. The transcript, presentation, and the code will be available on GitHub at Rex Jones the second forward slash selenium for beginners and tinyurl.com forward slash selenium locators for web elements. Before checking out how to use a selenium locator to find a web element, let's look at the selenium locators. Then at the end, we are going to look at the rankings for the Selenium locators. In alphabetical order, the eight Selenium locators are class name, CSS selector, ID, link text, name, partial link text, tag name, and XPath. Now, let's look at the Selenium locators to help us find web elements. I believe finding a web element is one of the most important aspects of automation. Why? Because we are unable to perform any action on a web element until we first find the web element. I have already created an instance of web driver, a setup method to load orange HRM and our test method demo selenium locators recall from the previous video I mentioned ID name and class are the key attributes for finding web elements therefore I will start with ID which is a unique identifier for finding an element we write driver dot find element by then the dot operator. Here's a list of all eight Selenium locators. Select ID and the parameter is the value of ID attribute. Let's go to the AUT and find the value of ID by inspecting user name. The value is txt username. Copy the value and paste the value. Web element username. We are not going to perform any actions on the web element, but only find the web element. As a result, I will demonstrate finding the web element by highlighting each web element highlighter dot highlight element pass in the driver and username as the element this is a static highlighter method therefore i can call it directly from the utility package the background will be red and the border will be black. Highlighter methods are good for demos because it can slow down execution. This execution will slow down for one second due to thread.sleep1000. Let's run. Did you see username highlights red? That shows we successfully found username. We are going to do that for each web element. Driver dot find element by name. And the parameter is the value of name attribute. Inspect 
password and the value is txt password copy paste the value web element password highlighter dot highlight element pass in driver and password as the element let's run again then we see username and password highlight red driver dot find element by class name and the description states find elements based on the value of the class attribute inspect button the class attribute has a value of button copy and paste the value web element button login highlight element pass in driver and button login let's run We saw all three web elements show a red background. The next two Selenium locators help find links on the web page, link text and partial link text. Driver.FindElement by link text and the parameter is the exact text to match against. Driver dot find element by partial link text. Let's use forgot your password for link text and orange HRM for partial link text. Inspect both elements and here's the text for forgot your password and orange HRM text. Paste, forgot your password, web element, link, forgot password. Highlighter, dot highlight element, pass in driver, pass in link, forgot password. The value for partial link text will be orange HRM. Web element link orange HRM. Highlighter dot highlight element pass in driver and link orange HRM. We have to scroll down the page before partial link text. So let's add a comment to scroll down the page. The next Selenium locator is tag name. We are going to find all of the tag names for an image. I'm going to move Chrome Dev Tools. The locator Control F can help us see how many tags have IMG two forward slashes IMG there are five tags with IMG let's look at the five images the first image is at the top and the next four images are at the bottom LinkedIn Facebook Twitter and YouTube go back to Eclipse and this time we type driver dot 
find elements with an S because we are looking for more than one web element. The description shows find all elements within the current page. Notice the syntax for assigning all web elements is list angle brackets with web elements in between the brackets. We continue with by dot tag name, double quotes, IMG, list, then the angle brackets, web element images, import list. This time we loop through all of the images by writing for web element image images is a list of all images on the other hand image is a temporary variable therefore we write highlighter dot highlight element pass in driver and element is image now let's run everything highlighted red all of the web elements Let's look at the rankings for Selenium locators. ID is number one because it's a unique identifier for an element. Number two is name. Most of the times, name is unique for the web page. I have seen cases where ID and name are unique for an element, but not unique for a page. If an ID or name attribute is not available, then third is class name. A class name does not have to be unique. There can be one or more class names for an element. Some elements may not have a class name at all. Link text and partial link text are good, but can lead to flaky values because text on a page can change. Here's an example of the language changing from English to Spanish. I showed you tag names, but they are not effective if you are looking for one element because it returns all elements. Therefore, if text can change on a page and it's also possible for ID, name or class to not be available, what should we use? We should use any one of the most powerful Selenium locators, XPath or CSS Selector. Next, we will look at the XPath Selenium Locator. Online courses coming soon. Books available in paperback, ebook, and PDF. All Part 1 ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium Automation Book. And TestNG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.